So before we jump in, it may be helpful to understand um, what's going on at Hay Group. Basically, we've recently launched an initiative that takes over 60-plus years of research and transformed them into off-the-shelf tools and assessments. These products help you benchmark your package, develop your employees, and ultimately ensure that they are engaged. What's even better is that they're inexpensive compared to the traditional solutions, which empower you to really maximize your budgets. So you can see here that we have many zones that address different pieces that we just went over. Today, we'll be focusing on the pay zone there in green, um, and that covers our suite of pay analyses and products. So to start off, I'll pass along to my colleague, David Gentleman. He's a total remuneration expert, and he will introduce the agenda and give us an overview of total remuneration. Thanks, Liz, and thanks, everyone, for joining us today. So as Liz mentioned, I'd like to give you a quick agenda as to what we have planned for you in this presentation and the different items that we plan on covering. First off, um, as Liz mentioned, we're obviously going to cover our two pay products, Reward Pinpoint and Reward Snapshot, and those products um, really focus on, on what we consider to be total remuneration. So in order to give, us, to give you a good overview of those products, we'd actually like to start with um, identifying for you what total remuneration is and, and why it's important. So who cares about total remuneration and why they care about it. At that point, we'll also talk about the products, Reward Pinpoint and Reward Snapshot, and give you some good information as to what jobs each product does and how your organization can really utilize those products and benefit from the information that's in them. Um, and ultimately, what the, what the information is that each product includes. Before we go ahead and, and go through all of that, though, we do have a question for you. Um, as Liz mentioned, it's our first polling question for you. So I was hoping that everyone can tell us how many of you have used pay tools or analysis in the past. And it looks like you can, if you take a look at your screen, you'll see the results are coming in um, as everyone participates in the survey. And right now it looks like a lot of you have. Um, about a quarter of you haven't so far. So it does look like about um, three quarters of you are at least familiar, some, um, somewhat familiar with some of the different pay products uh, and tools that are available within the marketplace, which is very good. So at this point, if we can talk about um, what total remuneration is over, uh, overall, uh, which will give you a good idea as to the different types of information that are covered within these products. Hay Group um, uses the phrase total remuneration to really describe the different um, tangible packages or tangible pieces within a total, total, total reward structure. Um, so everything that you're providing to your employees in a tangible way. However, it really um, is much more important than just thinking about the value of what you're providing or the cost of what you're providing. Um, total remuneration really drives how your total reward programs are effectively delivering your strategy um, and ultimately therefore driving your results. Um, you need to know the cost of the the cost of those programs and whether or not they're actually cost effective. You also need to know how they work in uh, in different local markets. So we're not sure how many of the um, of the different people within the on this audience right now are um, just operating within a, within the U.S. or if many of you are more global in nature. But obviously, if you're used to having different markets, whether they be different regions in the country or different regions of the world those reward policies and practices are going, to be, are going to be much different, and you really have to understand how all of that works together. You also have to be able to understand how your reward po policies are aligned with the needs of your employees. How you motivate and how you recruit those employees um, really is vital in your success. How are the programs uh, um, sit against the desired market? So are you competitive or are, are you not? and ultimately how everything aligns together, whether it be your programs, your operations, and ultimately those outcomes for your business. And the punchline here is that we like to say, you know, if you don't know the answer to any of these questions, then you're really not maximizing the return on, on what you've made in your people. So if we talk about who cares about total remuneration and why you would care about total remuneration, obviously the CEO of your organization um, cares. Perhaps some of you are the CEO. Ultimately, it's the bottom line. It's the end result, and it's the business strategy that's at play with the total reward package or total remuneration package. It's how you execute that strategy, and it's how you get results. The finance department within any organization 
obviously it cares. It's very cost effective or it needs to be cost effective. Again, it's that bottom line. It drives your profits and it and ultimately it's going to be an expense as well. Line managers, um, the everyday managers that are trying to motivate their employees, that are trying to get everything um, working correctly are going to care because it's their employees and if they can't work with those employees or they can't get their employees to perform at good um, at good levels, it's something that they need to be aware of. Everyone on this call, um, from a human resources perspective, certainly cares about total remuneration because it's going to be what you do. It's your job to make sure that all of this is in play and, and, and works effectively. And lastly, what I think a lot of people ultimately usually forget is that the individual employees care. This is something that, you know, if employee isn't happy, obviously it's going to be the, the one of the main factors for why they could leave a company or why they won't um, uh, accept a position to work in a company or why they could be not happy and, and ultimately not performing at a very high level. So how does total remuneration fit within the overall um, structure of your organization and how does it drive strategy or how does it how does it drive your business results and success? The picture that you see here on the slide, um, it looks quite complex. It's actually somewhat simple if you take a look at, at the center of this pie here. Um, as I mentioned, the center of the pie is somewhat of, a, a, of the tangible results that we talked about for total remuneration. Uh, we also list a, a different piece on here that gives the intangibles. Overall, we're describing the total reward package that you're providing your, all of your employees. On the left side, your business strategy starts, and everything flows through the center of this graph and then ultimately comes out on the other end and produces your results. So your reward policy needs to be aligned with that strategy in order to meet the results on the, on the other side. The same way the top and bottom works, you need to have a good alignment with your employees' needs as well as the needs of the individual organization and what you can reasonably provide. So everything works together, meets in the middle, and then ultimately drives those results like we mentioned. As far as the different pies, pie slices go, or what the different building blocks are, you have the four tangible pieces and the fifth, which is the intangible, or your work-life balance, um, the different things that you wouldn't necessarily put a value or a, or a cost on. The four tangible slices are what we consider to be total remuneration versus total reward. This next slide, um, I like to show a lot to clients when I'm, when I'm out in the field um, meeting with individual clients because I think it really is um, a way of, of making someone uh, really see how important total remuneration is. Usually sometimes when you see a graph like this or a chart like this, it, it, that's, that's the point where it clicks within someone's mind that, oh my God, I've never been looking at total remuneration before. I've only been looking at one piece of the puzzle. The way this this works, it's quite simple. Obviously, if we look at the top line here, we have a, a real-life CEO who is making um, quite a healthy base salary compared to the market median. Um, a little lower on total cash, but at the end of the day, from, a, from an annual uh, perspective in, in cash, they're still quite, um, uh, still quite a generous package against the market. This CEO, however, is not getting pretty much any long-term incentives when you look at it from a market perspective. Obviously, 250000 is, is quite a significant number, but comparatively speaking, it's pretty minimal in the long-term incentive field. And therefore, when you look at a total direct compensation level or just cash, um, annual and long-term, it's actually quite low against the market. And the CEO could make the argument under that analysis that they're underpaid. However, when we start talking about the benefits piece of the puzzle, you'll realize that this CEO is actually um, right spot on with, with regards to the market um, as you look at a total remuneration level. And the, re the reason for that is because the benefits package is so generous. And it's something that works for this organization because this CEO happened to want a, an executive retirement plan as opposed to additional long-term incentives the individual is getting ready to retire. So it all depends on how it works for the CEO, or excuse me, how it works for the organization, which takes me into the next chart or graph that you would see here. At the end of the day, there is no right or wrong mix of pay that you provide your employees. You might provide a very, very generous benefits package, and maybe you're all right with providing less generous, generous cash or, or less generous incentives. As long as you're looking at the total amount, 
then you have your apples to apples comparison and you can really start to have a good understanding as to how your package stacks up against the marketplace um, with your different competitors. You know, I, this is another chart where I show to many people and some, some individuals say, well, what type of organization would ever be listed under organization D where they, all they provide is, is base salary and benefits with no incentives? That's an organization that's actually uh, one of the largest organizations in the world and they have a philosophy where they do not provide incentives because they really value long service within their, with their, within their employees. So they have extremely generous pension plans that really um, lay out a 30-year career or 40-year career with, with their employees. They provide them very generous benefits, and those employees are quite happy and they really want to stay with the company for quite some time. On the other side, Organization A is more of a startup organization. There's not a lot of cash on hand and they don't have a lot of, a lot of um, ability to provide benefits or generous benefits packages, so there's much more incentives that are at play here. And that's something that is really working for them because it's really driving their performance in the short term. So again, it's going to depend on what your strategy is for your organization. But again, at the end of the day, the mix itself is really more dependent on your organization than it is the market. It's the total that is really relevant to how you stack up um, in a competitive basis. So at this point, now that we have kind of given, have given you an overview as to what total remuneration is um, and how Hay Group looks at total remuneration, I'd like to pass it back over to Liz, who is going to talk to you about our first product, uh, Reward Snapshot. So before we jump in to discuss some of the products, we'd like to do a quick poll. Um, so how many of you have experience using products or services that can help you benchmark your organization's total remuneration package? Okay. I'll just give you everyone a few seconds to answer that question. And as they're balancing out, it looks like that uh, there's more people maybe with not so much experience using different services for this. It's very interesting. Well, we hope that we can give you um, a really nice overview today about some really great products that are available that can help you do just that. So first, we'll discuss Reward Snapshot. Now, as described here in the text, Reward Snapshot is one of our premier products that helps you assess your reward elements in a cost-effective manner. It summarizes up to three reward elements of your choice. It can be compensation, benefit-specific, and it's benchmarked against your desired market. This kind of gives you an overview summary, which we'll go more into. So on the next slide, why Reward Snapshot? So as referenced on the previous slide, it's a quick assessment. It looks at competitiveness of your reward package. And really, the benefit is you get to see only the data points that you need. And as it's an easy-to-understand analysis, it allows companies to focus on the decisions at hand as opposed to the analysis that may take a lot of time. So moving across, you get to see, you get to choose, excuse me, your markets, whether it's by sector, country, or a defined peer group, and the information is backed by solid reward data across many countries. So this is why we think Reward Snapshot is really a good solution, um, and we'll talk more about the actual deliverable as we move forward. So what does it include? Reward Snapshot delivers information for 70 countries, over 70 countries, and you get to choose from the list here of data elements when you're looking at specific roles in these locations. So notice this contains compensation and total remuneration elements. So you really get to pick and choose here about those three elements that mean the most to you. Next, after submitting your data using Hay reference levels, points, or your grades linked to Hay points, you choose a market that's relevant to you and where you're recruiting for talent, and in the end, receive an Excel analysis, which we will display on the next slide. So moving along, here is a um, representation of what it looks like towards the bottom. Here you can see a sample of the information. So it provides each of the standard Hay percentiles for the three elements that you select. Then we calculate the corresponding compa ratios for quick interpretation. And again, this uses your data and compares it to the market that you selected. And furthermore, it includes a scatter graph of the data. So you can really visually display employee salaries against the market and see all the percentiles. Um, and then finally, you can see the participants that are included in the sample, 
which in the end really give you an idea of where you are from a competitive standpoint. So why do clients choose reward snapshots? So I've worked with many different companies, um, whether they be domestic or international, and a lot of them end up selecting Reward Snapshot or Reward Pinpoint, which we'll talk about next. Specifically, in Snapshot, they choose this because it really comes down to just getting the necessary data in a simple fashion. So if they need just a handful of elements and that's it, they'll go with this option. So in the domestic case, I've had companies that select Snapshot because of the need to benchmark across different U.S. locations. And again, they only really care about maybe just compensation or maybe just comp and then total remuneration in the end. In the international case, many of the companies I work with use Reward Snapshot, especially when they have really small employee pockets around the world because it is cost effective. So plus, they can conduct cross-country comparisons using the information provided from different countries, which is very useful for some regional managers. Finally, in both cases, the low price of only $2,500 per analysis makes the investment much simpler as opposed to maybe a long, a really large project or access to a very large database that maybe they only have a handful of people in. So now that we've discussed Reward Snapshot, I'll pass on to my colleague, David Gentleman, who will provide more information on Reward Pinpoint. Thanks, Liz. Reward Pinpoint is similar to Reward Snapshot in that it's also a company versus uh, market report. So it's going to be an analysis that Hey Group does for you and provides you with a very comprehensive report for all of your employees, and I'll give you some examples in a few, in a few moments. Uh, however, it's actually going to contain all 20 of the elements that uh, Liz previously showed you for Snapshot, and we'll show you those again as well. What we're doing with a Reward Pinpoint Report is we're actually valuing all of your benefits that you provide your employees, and we're giving you a full picture of that total remuneration package using the Hay Group methodology for valuing total remuneration. And before we actually show you what, total, or what Reward Pinpoint looks like, I wanted to talk to you about um, why Hay Group came out with a Reward Pinpoint about a year or two ago, um, why we introduced it within the market, and that's mainly because up till about now, there's really only been two different types of approaches that um, someone within the Human Resources Department could go could use in order to get a good understanding of their benefits package and their over, overall total reward package or remuneration package that they're providing their employees. It's always been to look at benefit prevalence information or get a full actuarial evaluation of your benefits package. Both of those um, approaches within the marketplace have, have their ups and downs. Um, they certainly have their advantages and disadvantages, the first being that it's certainly um, one of the easiest ways to do it or to look at, your be look at your benefits information. It's very easy to access. There's a lot of information that you can get from a number of different firms and vendors, and it's usually relatively low cost. The main disadvantage with looking at prevalence information, however, is that it's very hard to capture a good understanding of what's more important than something else. Um, if you see that your organization provides a car and 50% of organizations within the marketplace also provide a car, and of those 50%, 25% uh, provide excellent or provide Goodyear tires on their car, and the other 25% provides Michelin tires on their car. It's quite hard to understand which one's better um, than the other. How do you value that? How do you put that in perspective? And what set of tires should you provide on your car? The second approach that's always been out in the marketplace is, is quite honestly to hire to hire firms such as Hay Group um, or any other firm that firms out there that use a, a very complex methodology that have a full actuarial um, approach. It's certainly something that's going to give you the most level of detail. Um, it's going to be very accurate. The disadvantage to it is that it's usually going to be on the more expensive side, as well as you're probably going to need some experts within your own within your own organization to really be able to go through it and sift through all the results and make good decisions based on that. So what we found was that we really needed to have some kind of product that would be available to our clients that met both of those needs and met somewhere in the middle, which is what we feel Reward Pinpoint does. So as I mentioned, it's a, it's a totally um, comprehensive company versus market re report. It's going to give you a list of 20 compensation elements that I'll show you in a minute, and it's going to provide you with, with values um, for each of those elements for every one of your incumbents within your organization. In doing so, it really meets the needs that you have 
Um, number one, it gives you a full review of your competitive, competitiveness for each of those elements, but also the total package um, for anywhere you exist, whether it be within the U.S. or anywhere else within the world for that matter. It's going to give you an overview and a detailed look of, of an incumbent view within your market as well, or within your data, as well as um, in a roll-up, so to speak. So you'll be able to see individual employees or rolled up by job or level. It's going to give you that deep dive of your competitiveness so you can actually see what the value of your health care benefits are versus what the value of health care benefits are within the market. Lastly, the nicest part about it is that it's all totally done for you. It's just a comprehensive report um, that's ready to use. You don't need to do anything with it. It comes fully displayed in a, in a workbook that you can use, and you can take data and upload it into your HRIS systems if you need to, or for that matter, do any further analysis or, or manipulation of the data if you want. So why would you choose Reward Pinpoint? Well, there's a number of reasons for using it. Um, as I mentioned, you'll get a good view of the market. We're going to give you quartile information of each of the elements that we show you. Um, so each of the 20 elements, you'll be able to see the P25, P75, median, and average. And it will give you an, a good idea as to how you stack up against the market at every incumbent level. We're going to value each part of the package. So we're going to give you the value for your base salary, the value for your annual incentives, even the value of your long-term incentives that you might, might be providing, as well as things like life insurance, disability insurance, retirement, which we all know in the U.S. could be very, um, could be very extensive. After looking at the Reward Pinpoint report, it'll make it a little more clearer for you um, at revealing some hidden costs for you. How, how much are you paying for your health care insurance? Um, do you have a lot of costs behind your retirement plans? Again, it's quick and convenient. We're doing the work for you, and we're giving you the final results that then you can go and use. And lastly, the biggest advantage, I think, is that it's, it's based on Hay Group's unrivaled methodology within the, within the area of total remuneration. So I already mentioned this a few times, but these are the final list of elements that are included within a reward pinpoint report. It's the same set of elements that you um, would use for reward snapshot, the difference being in pinpoint we give you 20, snapshot you can choose any of the three. Um, as you see, it's everything from cash through to benefits and total remuneration. We even give you the value of statutory benefits if you're ever looking at markets um, across countries. You can choose the market that you want to use to compare um, to compare to. You're not limited to just buying a Roar Pinpoint report for whatever um, a full database consists of. You can actually set a peer group for this. So if you have a specific peer group in mind based on our databases, we'll certainly work with you to set that up. You submit the data to us based in the way that's easiest for you to do that. Um, and that, that manner is also used to benchmark your data. Um, so what I mean by that is if you don't want to um, match your jobs or match your individual positions to our survey jobs, you don't have to. We can work with you through a job mapping process, and we can actually um, put a, a content perspective on your jobs. So you can use Hay Group reference levels um, that are based on our job evaluation methodology, or you can use our actual Hay points. Uh, we can even um, use your client grades to deliver a, a Hay Group reward pinpoint report to you, so it'll actually be delivered in your own language. And lastly, as I mentioned, it's delivered in an Excel workbook, um, so you can go ahead and do further analysis on it if you want. One of the best ways I've found to explain what a reward pinpoint report is, is to say that it's actually three reports within one report. Um, three different types of reports, if you will. The first is we give you an executive summary that kind of rolls up all of the data for you and gives you a high-level understanding of, of where you are at the median um, for the, the high-level uh, elements or pay components, such as base salary or total cash or total remuneration. We also give you prevalence information. So that first approach that I talked about um, in the marketplace we can still do that for you, and the Reward Pinpoint Report actually gives you a detailed amount of prevalence information that you can use to supplement all the valuations that you receive. Um, so you'll actually be able to see the details of all different benefit plans, where different things are prevalent and where they're not. And the last, last thing, or the meat of the report, is actually the detailed valuation that we're going to do for you, which would, again, include by incumbent 
a full spread of all the market data um, and all of your incumbent information compared to it. So we have two examples that we wanted to talk about with you um, as to why clients have chosen reward pinpoint report or, or chosen to buy a reward pinpoint report in the past. One of them is a very large chemicals company that Hay Group does a lot of work with um, globally. They came to us and they said that they had a need to, to really better understand what their benefits or, or reward packages were that they were providing within a few set specific countries um, as opposed to the global market that they were operating in. And they wanted to compare that to the general market, so we, we did work with them to get them a reward pinpoint report. And they were ultimately going to use that information to highlight their inconsistencies, where they needed to um, get stronger, where they maybe could really do with scaling it back. They chose, chose the Hague Group approach because it was quite cost effective uh, in the analysis. Each reward pinpoint report is, is uh, $3,500. The second example that we have here is a, is a large FMCG company that Hay Group works with. And this was a need that arisen that came to us based on senior management. Um, their HR teams needed to to really justify to senior management that the data that they had um, was correct and that they were really using some good pay scales within their within the U.S. Again, they purchased Reward Pinpoint. They took the took the report and really um, were able to compare all of their data. And again, it was a consistent approach. Lastly, what we'd like to show you is some two different um, unique features of each product of Reward Pinpoint and of Reward Snapshot. With regards to Reward Pinpoint, um, it's a comprehensive look at your entire organization's data, top to bottom and, and sideways, so from base salary to total remuneration. It's going to give you that full detailed picture, again, 20 globally consistent and standardized elements that mean the same thing everywhere. And it allows you to look at the full total package as well as well as the individual building blocks of that package. Reward Snapshot, on the other hand, is going to really be beneficial if you actually want to, just like the name sounds, take a quick snapshot of your of your package or certain pieces of your package. It's going to give you a look at three different elements of your choosing. Again, the same list, and they're also globally consistent and mean the same thing everywhere. And it will then give you a good clear picture of where your incumbents stack up on those three three um, elements that you chose. This last slide that you see is a good example of where Hay Group actually has um, some very quality total remuneration data. You can see we operate in many many countries, over a hundred companies. We countries we have pay data in. We have total remuneration data in over sixty five countries or the teal countries that are listed on this map. At this point, we'll actually go into, um, we've gotten some few questions that have come in through the chat feature, so we'll certainly open it up to questions and we'll go, we'll go ahead and answer as many questions as we can within the time allotted. Before we do that, however, I just wanted to take another quick polling question and get some information from you. If you could just provide us with some information and check the boxes if you're, if you're interested in learning about any um, future products such as uh, our reward pinpoint or, and reward snapshot that we talked about today, also, any other pay products that Hay Group has, as well as we do have products within the talent space and, our, and the effectiveness space. So if anyone um, wants any information on any of those products, please just check the box. Thank you, Dave. And thank you, Liz, as well, for conducting today's presentation. Um, we're going to leave this question up for a few minutes. And while we do so, I'm going to go ahead and read some of the questions that have come through the chat feature back to the presenter so they can answer them for you today. The first question that came through is, what if a country I'm interested in isn't on the map that you just displayed? That's a good question. Um, what I would suggest is if you have any particular countries at all, whether they're on the map or not, certainly reach out to, um, to one of the hate group representatives and work with them and let them know what countries you are interested in, and that representative can work with you to determine uh, if we do have data available for you, whether it be Reward Pinpoint, Reward Snapshot, or other products, and we can certainly get you um, some good information um, and determine what the best approach is within that market if we don't have uh, quality data. Thank you. Um, 
another question that came through, which I think um, you referenced a couple times on the session, is how much does reward pain point cost? If you could just reiterate that. Sure. Reward pain point um, is three thousand five hundred U.S. dollars per report. Um, you can buy as many reports as you want. So you could do one report just for the U.S. Or if you were doing a cross-country report, uh, or if you were looking across countries and you needed ten reports, um, it's the same cost per report everywhere. Um, and another question that came through is, can I see an example of the report, a more comprehensive example? Sure. Um, again, if you reach out to one of our Hay Group um, representatives, they're more than happy to send you uh, an actual sample of a report. It'll give you, it'll be the exact workbook that a reward pinpoint report uh, would be delivered in, um, with some sample data or, or some fake data that in it, so you can get a good understanding of what we're presenting and how it works. We can actually do the same thing with a reward snapshot report, too. 